so in the last video we saw how to delete and make a copy of components now we'll see how to name a component and give it different values so let's say i want to change the name of this r1 and i want to give it uh, for example say it is a part of a low pass filter that is the low pass filter one so i'll select the name option this is the option for name i select this and then once we select the tool we need to select the component on which we want that particular action i want it on r1 so i select r1 and i give it the name lp underscore sorry, one Similarly, I can give it the name, let's say this is part of Lobas filter 2, I give it LP underscore 2 or I can give it whatever I want. I want this one LP 3. So this way we can give names to the components. It makes it very easy when we are designing the schematic. Uh, so we know which component is what and we can have this name also appear on the board finally. Now that we have given name, we want to give it a value as well. So we'll select the value tool. Take the values and we select this. I want it to be 10k. I want uh, this one to be 300 ohms or 330. 330, I give it E. And you see here, the writings, the name and the values are overlapped. So we'll just move them away from each other. I move it here, I move it here. So this was how we gave name to these registers. Similarly, we can give name to anything we want. We select the name tool and I select this capacitor. I give it a name uh, cap1 and I want to give it a value. I give it 0.1 UF which is 0.1 microfarad. So I have given a name to this and similarly I can give it to other components as well. I can also give it to IC so I'll just go add one IC. Let's see if I find something. Okay, let's take this for example. It happens sometimes in Eagle you select it but it does not drop. We'll take another. Take this. Okay, we have it here. Now, this is IC1, but I want to give it a name uh, the receiver IC underscore IC so the name appears here and we have a IC name here already which is this is the particular IC that we have and this is the name that we have given now when we go to the board uh, we will have these names uh, displaying there so we know which IC we are going to place at which place and that makes it very important to give names and values to the components